Good morning. I thought as I was getting ready, I could just talk about what today's video is going to be like. Also, I am just waking up, so I look a little rough. <laughs> as you can tell by today's title, I'm going to take you guys with me on a day of teaching. Today is Monday and my Monday schedules are kind of the busiest. I would say my entire week is very different every single day. So maybe there will be a video where I show you an entire week of my teaching because I teach a bunch of different grades. The youngest group I teach is first grade and the oldest group I teach is 12th grade. So I get I get all of them. That's just to note that today is not what every single day is like for me. The first class I'll be going to is my AP English class, which is 12th grade. You'll get to see school lunches, you'll get to see me in the classroom, you'll get to see COVID tests here. I also do night classes on Monday. We have to teach or monitor students in study hall just because like I've said before, this is a boarding school, so kids stay the night, and so they have to go to, like, class, like, all the time. Also, for breakfast, we have a international buffet. When we were first told about it, we thought it would be, like, a Western breakfast. It's not exactly Western, but it's, like, very nice food. So, I'll show you what that looks like. It's good. It just kind of feels like you're eating three, like, full-on meals if you know what I mean they're not necessarily breakfast foods but they're good so that makes me happy also for those of you who are watching this if I put this in I don't know what I do with makeup so don't get anything from me and don't critique me because I have no idea or critique me teach me how to do this right please thanks okay now I also forgot to say, if I sound a little congested, it's because I am. <laughs> kind of caught a little cold over the weekend, and it's not COVID. I shadow. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I do art, and I do, like, watercolor, and I have watercolor palettes. We're all artists, right? Yet, I don't know how to work these things, but I know how to work watercolor palettes. Also, I don't do my makeup every single day because... It takes too long and sometimes the bed is more inviting than putting on a face. <laughs> also, as I continue to put myself on YouTube, you will come to realize your girl makes a lot of sounds. I don't know if I'm ready for multiple people to know that, but welcome. Eyebrows. Now I have eyebrows. Ooh, maybe I can also talk about why it's been so complicated for me to be in this country. For those of you guys who don't know, my parents immigrated to the U.S. when they were pursuing graduate degrees, and then they had me. Sounds pretty, like, simple. It's not. <laughs> Basically, when I went to go get some of my, like, paperwork done in China, they got a little confused with my citizenship because they said, even though you were born in the U.S., your parents were still Chinese citizens when they had you. It's not the same in the U.S. where it's like, oh, depending on whatever country you're born in, you're that citizen. China is a little bit more complicated than that. My parents had been in the U.S. for three years before they had me, and China says that if they had waited until it was five years, this wouldn't be a problem. I got mascara in my hair. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> so anywho, they questioned my whole legitimacy of my US citizenship, which makes sense if like you have a very different format of like citizenship and what counts and doesn't count. To this day, I still am working this out. They are basically saying that I have a chance to be a Chinese citizen if I declare it. I am hoping that this gets resolved very soon to be determined. Bleh. To be to per <laughs> to be determined. I teach English. I can barely speak English. Also, for those of you that are curious, and maybe if you're Chinese American and want to come to China, it's always a fun time, legally and socially and emotionally. So, if anyone wants to talk about it, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have blood my nose. Blush. I think this is it. And now I myself some lips. And I spread my face. I'm done. Oh wait, here. Alright. This took 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, what time is it? Seven o'clock. It is still super dark outside, but I'm heading over to our international breakfast. Also, just a heads up, since we're about to see students, I'm definitely gonna format this vlog so that as little student faces are shown, just because of privacy reasons and they're minors. So it'll be focused on me. So you'll just see me all day. <laughs> you'll get to also meet some of my other coworkers. I'm excited to have you guys meet some of the people I get to work with because they're all super awesome and great people. So, let's go. Good morning. My friend Valerie, <laughs> he's a dedicated subscriber, watches and comments on my blog. What do you teach? I teach psychology. Yep. AP psychology. AP psychology. How long have you been here? Where? At Kwangya. Ah, in cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11, for 11 years already. And where are you originally from? I'm from Ukraine. He's been super awesome to meet. Super fun to eat every breakfast with. It's usually just us two on time. <laughs> All right, breakfast is over. We both have classes at 8 a.m. So we're heading over to our kiddos. All right, have a good class. Bye. All right, my 12th grade. All right, today we're gonna focus on keywords. Someone tell me one of the keywords they found. Who are we talking about? Women. Women. You can WeChat me. Tonight I will also be, again, in the 10th grade classroom if you need to come by and ask for any help. We need that if you're going abroad. Okay, that is it, I think. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You can do it. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> see ya. Alright, first class done. Classes here are typically 40 minutes long, so I taught at 8. It ends around 8.40, but we always end up lingering to make sure things are submitted and homework assignments are fully comprehended. So it is almost 8.50 now, and we have a faculty meeting at 9. <laughs> faculty meeting! Finished our faculty meeting and usually we would like kind of chill, but we have a lot of office resources that we haven't gone through yet, so. All right, this is our uh, teaching office. The ceiling is falling. <laughs> As you can tell. Oh, wow. We're gonna spend time just sorting through this kind of stuff. All right. So my desk is a mess right now. I've got things that I picked up from the printing office. I also need to respond to some student messages, grade some of the classwork from today, and make sure that my other classes are ready to go for this week. So I am just gonna do some work until around 12.20 is when uh, lunch is. So carry on.
Yeah, it's actually sunny, which is not awful. Sky blue, I can't see. Sky blue, I can't see. We are back from lunch. I went to go get a package. I got messed up a little pointer for my first graders because they are too short to touch the board. So this will help them. Hopefully this will not be a distracting thing. Valerie again. Hello. We are getting COVID tested. Here we go. The whole school has to come and get COVID tested on Mondays and Thursdays. And usually it is their nap time or their like chill time, like rest. My first graders are right there. Oh, we got our Q-tip. Oh, that one was rough. Woo. That was not fun. COVID tests are done. So now it is almost two o'clock. I teach 12th graders, so they are currently going through the process of applying for colleges. So just in between classes, whenever they're free and whenever I'm free, we are meeting up to just revise college essays and just kind of talk through college stuff. Before I knew what I was teaching, my brother who is also in 12th grade, he was already starting his college application process and he asked me during my quarantine in Shanghai to edit his essay. After I had done all of that, I gave it back to him and I just told him, I'm like, you know what, I'm kind of good at this. Maybe I should do this for a job. Someone should pay me to do it. Literally two days later, my team leader told me, oh, you're teaching AP English for 12th grade. So now I'm actually getting to do something that I said I would enjoy doing and wanted to get paid for. <laughs> all right, finished my revision session for college essays. It is almost 4 p.m. I have about an hour before my spike ball club, so I think I'm going to continue to do some more work. <laughs> so this is just showing you we get a lot of time to do work, but it also means we have a lot of work to do, or at least I do with having so many different classes and wanting to be ahead. I have a work break because uh, Molly is amazing and decided to bake cookies. Ah! Sometimes we get snack breaks, right? <laughs> I'm excited. Are they good? Mm-hmm. They smell a little funny. I'm a little nervous. New ingredients. Woo! Bro, I could eat all four of these you right now. A cup of tea? Or so we have something at our school called castles. They are basically clubs and we each form our own. Ashley has a yoga castle today. I have a spike ball castle. Here we go. <laughs> I totally forgot to record uh, dinner. So this is my leftover. Just had dinner. It is 6.30. on all my bags. <laughs> Have fun. Hi. Whoa. You want to say hi? Just say hello. <laughs> They're calling this a welcome party. <sighs> I'm back home. It is a little over nine. Congestion is rough. The day is over. I cannot get this jacket off with one hand. Usually for the rest of the night, I call my mom and chat with her and then I go to bed because tomorrow, gotta get up at six again and do it all over. <laughs> That concludes my Mondays at school. Hope this was helpful, relevant, and um, interesting. 
I guess. I don't know, it's my life, so. It's interesting to me, I guess. Also, I don't know if you could tell by little bits and pieces of my video so far, but my apartment is basically ready to be shown after almost two months. So I'm really excited to film that and edit that vlog and put it out there because this has taken a while to make it feel homey and it finally feels like that. Just wanna give you guys a piece of what my home is like, especially for those of you who are back at home and can't visit me quite yet, but this place is ready for you guys to come. So book your tickets sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty much it for today's vlog. This is fun. Thanks for supporting me and thanks for watching all of you people. Even some of my students are watching now and I love that. It's just cool what this community has become. With that being said, I will see you next time wherever that may be. <laughs> Bye!